Hey guys, I, uh, I mentioned recently that I was going to start doing some screencasting for you guys and um, I, uh, I had this idea this morning just to whip together a real quick video and, and this will be very quick um, just to show you something I use all the time like religiously um, probably my most used tool, it's free, it's the simplest thing uh, you probably look at this and say, well I already knew that existed well you know congratulations if you did but a lot of people don't, and and honestly, like I, I would have to say, of all the bells and whistles, tools and apps and stuff that are out there, this is by far the most useful thing for me. Um, and that is that, um, so you might remember a long time ago, I, I talked about Audacity and how I use it to loop tracks. I, I use it to loop um, lexical chunks. Um, so I use it for, uh, it does this other really neat thing called uh, track labeling. Um, it's very, very simple. I got this video here just to show you as an example. Uh, this is a... So this is a, a video from um, uh, Talk in Arabic. It's, uh, it's aimed at high beginner learners uh, for um, Egyptian Arabic <clears throat> on uh, how to order food in a restaurant in Egypt. Uh, I chose this because it's um, the 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 sentence breaks are a lot clearer in the audio file. It's a good example. Uh, what I would typically do, okay, and, and this is something that uh, I just think is so useful, is um, let's say you wanna, um, let's say you've gone through this audio, you've listened to it. There's a couple of things that you've just learned for the first time. So let's say we... Okay, so you've just learned that for the first time. You didn't know what it meant. You looked it up, you found out. You press, you select that and you press control B. Okay, it creates a label. Okay, and so then you can go ahead and you can add in. So let I can go uh, say fumatam. Uh, what was it? Al cafe. Um, oops. <clears throat> um, what is it? Fumas. Um, fumatam al al cafe fumas. Okay, so I've just created a label. I can come back to that. Um, I can, uh, I can select the label and select the whole section. Okay, I can go through the audio and let's say I found another one. Um, let's say, uh, let's say we want to create one more. So we come here and we go, um, uh, was it a little sum up? All right. <clears throat> So, and, and you can actually go up to tracks and you can add new, um, uh, you can add another label track and you can put the English underneath it or another language if you want. So you could have like two layers. And the whole point is like, I don't, I don't generally go beyond this window. Like this is where I do my language study. Like this is my language study uh, desk, if you will. Um, I have the audio there. This audio is the exact replica of this video. I've just extracted the audio from this video. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's and that's the perfect spot for me to just go back and listen and listen and listen and label the sections that I don't know. If you want to take it a step further, what you can do is you can actually go up to export. You can export um, export labels. So export a label track. <clears throat> then what you can what you can do here is you can um, just bring this up so you can see it. Um, you come in here, this is what you get out of it, okay? This is what it exports. The Arabic looks kind of jumbled up here because my uh, my terminal window doesn't really display it very clearly on this text editor. If you want to, um, oh, here, I'll get rid of this line. Um, so what you can do, if you want to create a subtitle track out of this, um, you just put the, you put a number there, like the number of the subtitles, in this case, it's the first one. On the second line is the timestamp, so that's the start time and the end time, and then that's the label, right? Um, you've, the only thing you have to do is you have to you have to clean up the um, the timestamp a little bit. So the uh, I think the subtitle tracks go to three decimal places. Um, so then you've got like um, I think it goes by hour, minute, and second, and then between the two times you have an arrow pointing like that okay so it's hour minute second 
And so there, there's your first subtitle. You've just created one, the first subtitle. You want to, you make a second one. So um, let's say you've you found like five words in the whole audio track that you didn't know. You create uh, or five sentences. You create the um, you know the subtitles <clears throat> like so. You um, you export that as an SRT file, a subtitle track. And then the whole point of doing this is that you don't, if you're watching a video like this, right, you, you don't want to be distracted by an entire subtitle. You just want, um, you, you do this just so it kind of helps you on the spots that you need the help with, if that makes sense. So, you know, if there's only five sentences in the entire audio that you didn't know, that's really all you need to be distracted by. Okay, if, if you've got, uh, you know, if you want them there as kind of a reminder, um, you know, you don't need to have the whole track. Um, if that, uh, I hope that, I hope that's clear. So it, it looks like it's um, time consuming editing this, but it's actually not if you're, if you've only got a few things that you want to do. Um, but you know, it's a personalized subtitle. It's, you, you've personalized it for whatever it is that you're learning. And, and it's um, so, but you know, I, I don't, I don't generally go, <clears throat> um, I don't generally go that far. Like I do all my work in here. I do all my listening in here, all my learning in here. I, I, you know, I do all my, you know, if I want to, if I want to repeat, if I want to repeat a section over and over and over again, I can do it here. If I want to cut a section, you know, and put it down, put it down here and, you know, isolate it so I can, you know, solo. I could, you know, I could create a whole nother audio track down here with just the sections that I need. There's whole, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff you can do. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the, um, the, the labeling and how I use it. I think it's, um, I think it's, uh, it's one of the most, if not the most, uh, used thing, um, useful thing that I, I have in my repertoire. And, and honestly, you don't need all this other stuff. It's, um, it's great. It's a great way to isolate things and, um, you know, really hone in on something if you, if you can't hear it well. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, guys.